Welcome to Scrapple TV. Today on our show, have we found the missing link between human and apes? You'll soon be able to tweet tunes to your friends, and we honor a great Philadelphian. Welcome to Nerd News. If you could travel to two million years ago in South Africa, you might see a creature with a human-like hands and ape-sized brain walking upright with feet twisted inward. Kinda of sounds like an ex-boyfriend of mine. Australopithecus sediba is being cautiously examined as a possible missing link in the development of a human species. A nine-year-old boy found some unusual bones near the cradle of humankind site in Johannesburg, South Africa in 2008. A further investigation led to a cave that held the two million-year-old remains of an adolescent male and an adult female. Would you recognize this as your relative? I probably would if they were somehow strangling each other and berating each other. It's possible that around this time, two million to three million years ago, many different forms of upright creatures emerged in parallel, representing variations that evolved in response to environmental changes. Aesadiba individuals were about the size of chimpanzees. They had small brains and long arms that were good for climbing and hanging from trees, which are all primitive traits. In other respects, however, they were human-like, with their small teeth and chewing muscles, not to mention hands adapted for tool use. You know, awesome thumbs. Unlike a chimpanzee, which walks crouched over, Aesadiba would have had a straight leg and full extended hip while walking. But unlike modern humans, there was no heel strike when they walked. The brain of Aesadiba is also curious, much like ours. Researchers argue that Australopithecus sediba is an ancestor of, or a sister species to, the direct lineage of humans. But the paleontologists who believe this really are in the minority. Instead, it appears there were many forms of upright creatures, natural experiments and evolution, that coexisted at the same time. Well, it's happened. Social networking giant Twitter has announced that it will be introducing a music feature to its 200 million users. What we know so far, Twitter will use an application that scans users' Twitter feeds, update their profiles, and even post tweets, suggesting an ability to alert users about the music their friends were listening to. In late 2012, Twitter bought the company We Are Hunted, a service powered by a proprietary software system. The platform enables data aggregation, machine learning, and content recommendation services. The system generates the music charts, powers a dynamic playlist, and delivers detailed analytics and reporting. When we asked Twitter about it, they responded, we wish we could say, but we're not yet ready to talk about it. You'll hear more from us when we are. Hashtag being cryptic, hashtag I'll never tell. The site has since revised its report to add that the launch could happen anytime this weekend, and not necessarily Friday, to align with the Coachella Music Festival. Sorry, hipsters. Dr. Hilary Koprowski, a pioneering virologist who developed the first successful oral vaccination for polio, died this week at a suburban Philadelphia home. He was 96. Hilary Koprowski had self-administered the live virus oral vaccine he developed before the 1950 polio clinical trials, about two years before Jonas Salk's injectable version using a dead form of the virus. Koprowski went on to be the director of the Wistar Institute in Philadelphia from 1957 to 1991. Under his leadership, the independent research institution developed a rubella vaccine that helped to eradicate the disease in much of the world. It was during that time the institute also developed a more effective rabies vaccine. Koprowski has received many honors in Philadelphia, including the Philadelphia Cancer Research Award, the John Scott Award, and in May 1990, the most prestigious honor in his home city, the Philadelphia Award. Nerd News salutes this great Philadelphian. 